the causes of bullying how can we stop bullying what is the consequences of bullying how to prevent Bullying is so accepted that our education system has accepted it. It has become normal in society. But do you know what happens with bullying? Bullying traumatizes. Bullying causes people to commit suicide. Bullying causes people to grow up and to be bullies. At the end point, bullying leads to death. So that is why you should not bully. That is why anytime you see someone bullies another person, you should report. When they see you with a nice shoe, they will seize it. You enter school barefooted. So you better not even wear anything nice and pass them. That's the truth. So they bully you on your way to school and then you go to school. Then you meet another senior that bullies you. Those kind of things that happen to students make students to what? Drop out of school. And even if you've been bullied and you think you can't, begin to say to yourself, I'll be better as a result of this experience. It's about making the best of what you go through. In our schools, we are all bullied. And that is a major problem we all find in our schools. So the reason why we chose this topic is because bullying is a common thing in our school and has traumatized so many students. 70% of students in school, why 30% at home? We want to talk about ways of resolving bullying. One, counseling. Two, social interaction. Three, organizing or creating public awareness on the dangers of bullying. Four, schools should execute or implement laws against bullying. What, what, they, what they express is what they feel inside. For example, when a bully is telling you that see your ugly test, it's because that person might feel that he's, he, must, he or she is ugly. Then he wants you to also feel the same way. Then they'll tell you the same thing. And then the things that we should not always criticize them, some of them we have to try and, and counsel them. As they might be what they are facing from home or around them, that way they're now point the aggression of us, the juniors. You kind of develop some psychological problems. Sometimes it's related to health issues. You won't have, you won't be able to concentrate on your studies. You're always thinking on that as in particular act that is being posed on you. I would say I bully him because of what someone had done to me because of the pains that I felt. So I was like, let me also feel what this person has done to me. Let me also feel the same way. I learned that bullying others is not good and we should stop it. You will not be comfortable to learn and participate in other activities. Some people just have this mindset that when they bully, they gain respect and other sorts of things. But I've been, I've learned today that it is wrong. It is not a reason for for you to gain respect. You can gain respect through the deeds of your all your actions. When you bully someone, you might not have that peace. You will feel guilty always because you'll be thinking of what you have been doing on others. When you see, when you see them, that memory will recall when you were beating them and it might affect you in the future. We've been encouraged to make people to be aware in schools and also not only in schools, at home and in the neighborhood that bullying is not good. Say no 
to bullying. Look for the reason why that thing happened and look for those people who are the perpetrators of that. Everything you see house our people, house our people, like for smoking, killing people, leaving school and going home.